Hello everyone, welcome to the IPLedger Fabric Tutorials. IPLedger is a group of open source blockchain based projects which are organized by the Linux Foundation. One of the key features of Fabric is that it has a permissioned blockchain network. It means it has a unique concept of channels that support the transaction privacy. So in this tutorial, we'll be building our own first network. So before we begin, we need to make sure that we have all the prerequisites installed on our system. So let's go to, let's get started with the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have installed curl. And the next thing is we have to install Docker and Docker Compose. So let's go back to the terminal and let's start installing Docker. For that, you need to type the following command. It will prompt you to give your password and after that your Docker will be installed. To check, we can uh, check for his version by clicking Docker minus minus version. Since I've already installed it, it will show you the version 1.13. So let's start the Docker. For that, you need to type the command sudo service Docker start. It will prompt you to give your password. After that, let's verify whether the Docker is working or not. So sudo docker run. Hello world. Now what we are going to do is we are going to pull an image which is already in there. We are going to pull the image hello world. Yes. So hello from the Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So that is done. So the next thing what we have to do is install Docker Compose. So let's go back to the terminal, type the command sudo install. As before, it will prompt you for the password. Once that is done, it will be installed and you can check for your version for docker compose minus minus version. It is 1.21 version. So let's check the next one. Next thing is Go programming language. So Fabric uses Go programming language for its components. So we need the Go version. So for that, let's go and install Go. Download. Go to the first one and install based on your operating system. So I will be installing the Linux version. Once you have installed it, Go to the folder in which we have it. Most of the case, it will be downloads. Go to the download and first we have to extract the Go package. So for that, we will be doing tar minus xv. For extracting the Go package, we'll be using tar minus xvzf and the name of the Go file, which we have just downloaded right now. After doing it, you'll be extracting the Go file and it will be in the download section. So you have to make sure that you move it to a more secure location so that you don't accidentally delete it. So let's move a Go folder to another location. Oh, I'm sorry. Now it's mine is already in this location. So it, that's why it is showing the error. So you have to move it to the uh, USR local location, right? It will uh, prompt for your password. You have to give it. And after that, let's check whether it is there or not. Yeah, you can see that my go folder is in this file, right? Now this shows that the Go files are being correctly placed in the desired location. Now that we have it in the correct place, we have to make sure that we have, we include it into our environmental variables. So for that, we have to edit the Bashasi file. So let's go to so nano. Go to the end of the file. And you might not be having these two lines. So make sure you add these. So go root refer to that location of our Go file 
and this path is we are adding our environmental variable and once you have done it control x and save it so after that we have to reload the environment variable for that we will be using this source Now this command will not be giving you any output. It will simply reload all the environmental variables. So now let's check whether our installation was uh, successful or not. Just type go. If you get this, it means we have successfully uh, uh, installed Go language. All right. Now let's go to the side and check what is the next prerequisite required. Prerequisites. Now we have to install the npm and node.js. We'll go back to the terminal. We'll install the node.js. And after that, you can check for your version. This V4.2.6. Similarly, you can also install your npm. Once this is done, you can also check for your version. Right. Now we have to also make sure that you have your Python installed. For that, you can sudo apt get install Python. You can check for your version as well. Now the next thing is what we are going to do is we are going to clone the IP Ledger Fabric Samples repository. So first, we'll go to the terminal. We'll create a directory fabric, right? Nothing is in there. Now we are going to clone the uh, repository. So let's git clone it. Git clone minus b master. This will be cloning into the fabric samples. That's done. Let's check. Yes, fabric samples is there. Let's go into fabric samples. Now we have to download certain platform specific libraries. So for that, we'll run this one. We'll run this command. This might be taking some time. It will be uh, downloading uh, different tools like Cryptogen, Config Transaction Generator, Peers, Orderer, Fabric, Client, etc. So this might take some time. So can I pause it and come back? As I've mentioned, the command above will download and execute a bash script, which will download and extract all the platform specific binaries that you will uh, that we will need. Uh, to set up the network. So these are the tools. These are the platform specific binaries, Cryptogen, Config, Transaction, Generator, Peers, Orderer, Fabric, CA, Client, etc. So that is done. We can see that we have downloaded the platform specific binaries. So after that, we have to make sure that we have had that into our path environmental variables. So what we have to do is export path and path to download location. So let's go to the terminal. So we'll add the path export path equal to slash. And this is our uh, file fabric slash fabric samples slash bin. We will add the environmental variable and that's it. So that concludes uh, this episode. We have installed all the prerequisites required for building a network. So the next episode, we'll start building the network. And for then, good day.